this is Ada Boulay, and I hope you're having a most marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. Well, y'all, let me introduce you to the newest junior senator from California. This woman's name is LaFonza Butler. She is not even living in California right now. She is presently residing in Maryland and it is causing a big uproar in California because she's not living in California, although she has lived in California, but she is living in Maryland now because of work. Ms. Butler was appointed by California Governor Gavin Newsom to fill the position left by the late Senator Diane Feinstein, who died last week. And he quickly did it, and she was quickly sworn in because to keep down confusion, the governor cleverly decided to go ahead and appoint her without a whole lot of debate and have her sworn in because once you're sworn in, you're the senator. But there is an interesting backstory here that's worth pointing out. Remember the old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know? Well, Miss Butler knows people in high places and it pays to have the Vice President of the United States of America as a close friend. And here she is, the Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris, and Miss LaFonza Butler here, skinning and grinning like best friends. And here's our Vice President swearing her in with Miss Butler's significant other holding the Bible. And isn't this just so cozy? But it pays to have friends in high places. So let's see who is Miss Butler. LaFonza Butler began her career as a union organizer like President Obama. No, excuse me, President Obama was a community organizer. Miss Butler served as president of California State Council from 2013 to 2018. A member of the Democratic Party, she was the president of Emily's List from 2021 to 2023 and the regent of the University of California from 2018 to 2021. On October 1st, 2023, California Governor Gavin Newsom chose Butler to fill the U.S. Senate seat left vacant by the death of Diane Feinstein. Butler was born on May 11th, 1979 in Magnolia, Mississippi, the youngest of three children. So this is my neighbor. She's from Mississippi. Her father died of heart disease when she was 16 years old. She graduated from South Pike High School in 1997 and she earned a bachelor's degree in political science from Jackson State University in 2001. She began her career as a union organizer for nurses in Baltimore and Milwaukee. She organized janitors in Philadelphia and hospital workers in New Haven, Connecticut. In 2009, she moved to California where she organized in-home caregivers and nurses and served as president of Service Employees International Union. So she has been working in service and the service industry and organizing union workers so they can get better pay. So that's pretty good. So she's been working in important jobs, being selected president of jobs, and being appointed to important positions, including the state regency of the University of California. So that's pretty good. So when you are in a job like that, you are, which is really kind of a political appointment, then you're on the road to becoming big in politics. 
She was named president of Emily's List in 2021. That's a very high profile position for a relatively young black woman. But let's get back to her relationship with Vice President Harris. LaFonza Butler was a young organizer learning her way around California politics when she met Kamala Harris, then District Attorney of San Francisco. Butler, who was 30 at the time, had recently moved to Los Angeles from the East Coast to oversee a large union of long-term care and assisted living workers. Harris, more than 10 years older than Butler, was running for state attorney general. But over time, the two black women, both of whom attended historically black universities, would form a close friendship. They bonded over how to advance the economic security and well-being of women. I would always call her for advice. She would always call me for advice. 44-year-old Butler told USA Today in a 2022 interview. So she and Vice President Kamala Harris became friends when she moved to California. It's hard for us to know if Vice President Kamala Harris is black or Indian. Sometimes she claims black and then again they say she's Indian. So we don't know. But somewhere along the way, they became friends. And this was a friendship that paid off for LaFonza Butler. I, you know, that name LaFonza just drives me nuts, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. So California has a black senator that makes four black senators in the United States Senate. Miss Butler is the first LGBT black woman to serve in the United States Senate. And she has not said whether she will run for that position when it becomes open. She's just serving out Diane Feinstein's time. It's interesting that Governor Newsom would appoint her because he said he was going to appoint a black woman. Because when Barbara Boxer retired a few years ago, he appointed a Hispanic. So, you know, black people had a problem with that. So this time he said he was going to appoint a black woman. Barbara Lee, who is a representative from California and also a black woman, is planning to run for that position. So I wonder why he didn't appoint her to give her a little bit of experience and, you know, a little sort of a head start into running for the full Senate seat. But, you know, I guess he had his reasons. And on second thought, I guess Vice President Kamala Harris being a friend of Miss Butler decided to put her hand on the scale so that Barbara Lee wouldn't get a leg up on Miss Butler. So we can make an educated guess about who's raising sand about Miss Butler not being a resident of California. <laughs> so again, in that what you know is who you know. When you have friends in high places, sometimes they can lift you up a little higher. And let's be honest, it is rare when a black person is in a position to help another black person to get in a good position like this. Um, I don't live in California, so I don't have a dog in the fight. And, you know, I wish her the best. So Ms. LaFonza Butler is a senator from the great state of California by way of the great state of Mississippi. I'm sure Mississippians are very proud of her and I feel certain that she will do a good job representing her adopted state of California. Okay y'all, thank you for listening. Let me know what you think about the video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment share the video, and as always, have a great day.